a young American in the 60s, I thought, you know, how does this music relate to this modern world and, and to my life and to the lives of my friends? And, and, uh, and how can I relate that to people who don't speak German, who don't speak French? And there was a program called the Lincoln Center Student Program, which were different programs from uh, organizations in Lincoln Center to go into the schools in the ghettos of New York. And then I went alone with pianists doing recitals, and it was those recitals that taught me, um, I, which really gave me my, my ethics about, uh, about my relationship to the audience, because I, I went into neighborhoods that uh, I had only read about. Uh, I came from the South, and uh, certainly a poor family, but I, I had always had the nature and the outdoors and uh, um, to walk into these neighborhoods of concrete and, and in incredible poverty. Um, I used to wonder, I thought, I don't know how I'm going to keep the kids into my concert for 45 minutes. I'm surprised they go to school in such an environment. Uh, but they taught me the most valuable lesson about an audience is that when, when you care about what, you, what you're saying, uh, my and my relationship to the music was very obvious to them, even though they found it strange that I should be singing music by dead white men from another continent. Um, and you know, I say to them, if I could sing like Aretha Franklin, I would, because you know, not only is there a lot more money in it, but uh, it would seem probably much more natural for me to do that. But that's not the kind of voice I have. I, I have a voice to sing this music that I do, and not only that, I love this music, and uh, I feel a strong relationship to it. And I was able to hold them, you know, for my 45 minutes. with doing recital is that you, I have to do uh, sometimes as many 20 different operas in an evening and to change from one story that's complete, that has not, absolutely nothing to do with the next. Uh, but what I love to do is to have the, put the listener on a, on a journey, an emotional journey from one song to the other that sort of builds until the end.
Um, I mean, in, in a song like um, Autumn and, and also in A Present Rêve, you have this climax which comes at the very, very end and then calms down immediately. So uh, it's sort of this will withheld emotion that uh, I think very, that is very strong and sometimes much, much stronger than the, the extroverted, uh, than the extroverted emotion. Mm -hmm. 